Hello everyone, it's Kay from the Paper Shed. Thanks for popping on and joining me today. Hope you're all doing well. If you're a new subscriber, then welcome and thank you for joining us. I'm sharing with you today my part two of the old album Flip Through. Um, I've had a really good response to the first one. So I thought... So this is a completely different album. It is a photo album, but I've used exactly the same papers as I did for the other one. Um, so I just thought I'd show you how you can, you know, use different kits in a similar format, but make them look completely different. Um, that was a, a, a different shape and everything. So this is quite a long, thin album. It's got a quite a large spine on this one let me see if I can find my ruler I have got it here somewhere come on right here we go so this has got a four three and three quarter inch spine it is ten and a half inches long and it is five and a half inches high. So it's quite a narrow book. Um, this is another one that I made um, for myself to put my own photographs in. Um, and after I made all of these, I decided that I, 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 how can I put it? I made it a photo box and I had, um, index cards for each different thing so I've got holiday holidays photographs in there I've got my kids in different ones so I've sort of indexed all my photographs in a box so these have never been used and it's such a shame really because they they are beautiful um you know in this this kit I have used this kit several times um it is beautiful kit it is from paper phenomenon uh, and I, I do need to mention as well that the, the albums that I've created, um, I created with inspiration um, and guidance from uh, Catherine Scraps. Now, she is a photo album maker. She doesn't do junk journals, but her ideas and the way that she puts things together are brilliant. Um and yes, I did a lot of creating with Catherine Scraps. So, he, oops, here is um, the first one. So this is just a little flip down here, a file folder, and it's got several of these in. I just want to mention, sorry that I'm sniffing. I've got a, something's coming, I can tell. Um, I just want to mention that you know, we ink, so we rub the ink on. Um, when I do uh, photo sheets like this, I literally put them on a piece of card. If I can find a piece of card handy. Here we go. So I'd get a scrap piece of card. Let me move that there. And I literally would just go down the edge with a felt tip. And we do them in black or in a colour to match the scheme. And... I mean, as you can see, it takes a little bit to get used to because <laughs> that's what I've done. But to be honest, the result, when you do do it right, the result is is brill. And I love this idea. I think it finishes off the page or the, or the journal card or whatever it is that you want to put it around. Um, I know in junk journaling, obviously, we do it as a um, an aging thing, whereas this is more obviously aesthetic. So again, I've used glossy accents in um, on some of these words. And what I've done here is I've cut off a, uh, let me just see. I haven't, hang on, we'll get there in a minute. I've cut up a, uh, what would have been a journaling card um, that had words all over it. And I've just made it fit that because I wanted those words there and the card itself wouldn't fit. So I've just done that and I've gone around it in black tip just to emphasise it a little bit. So that's that side. So that's your main front cover. Again, I've got the infinity spine on there and somebody has asked me about the spine 
Um, and what I will do is um, I will try and do a video once I've done the series and I've got my head back on right. I will uh, do a little tutorial on how to do this spine because these books that I'm showing you now have been made at least five years and back then we didn't use glue these are all stuck with tape so it's just your normal thin double uh, sided tape and with some of them I noticed that they were coming apart like this bit here is splitting and that is the spine so I've been just pushing it back together but it does really need gluing um, if I was to make this again today, I would definitely use glue. I'll move that because it's very distracting. Um, so, yeah, so I will do a video on it um, as soon as I get my head back on straight. So this is the first page. It is a flip up. It has a, a cutting pocket here. So this was done with a piece of folded card. I split the paper. So this, this was my sheet. I split that and then I folded this, made this to go inside. I folded it and then pushed it inside the split. So it just looks like a folded pocket. And I think they look quite nice. This is a little journaling card that was made with a saying on, and this is a uh, clock piece of ephemera there these are all part of the kit everything that i've used in here is all from the kit um don't use extra pieces so you flip that down and we've got a big part here we've got a pocket here with several pieces of what we would normally put in journal cards or folders or file folders you could even pop a little booklet in there but i'm loving it i love looking back and seeing them all there is a couple of policy um things in here as well so this is the second page these are just two policy um envelopes that have actually been put onto the page so these ones don't move and then you've got some of whatever you want to put in the pockets both of those are the same um and i do think that these these papers actually match superbly this again is uh one that's been cut up and just placed on there which i never think to do when i'm journaling um so even just that idea on its own is fab for me Again, I've just gone around the edge with a felt tip pen. Mine would have been a Sharpie, actually. So the, all my colours are done through Sharpies. So like this one's pink because it's on a pinkish page. Again, I have uh, glossy accented my butterflies there just to emphasise it a little bit. This pocket, by the way, is absolutely amazing. If I take all the bits out, and I'll hold it there. So this is called a cross pocket. And this pocket is separate to this pocket and this pocket is a full one. So this one here is actually a separate pocket altogether and it's got a it's got a um a folded sort of uh, gusset in there which allows this to be a separate pocket and that to be a separate pocket but i love how these come out and i suspect you could do this on um i mean i know it's done on a nice long page which is ideal um but i'm sure that you could turn that around and do it on a long way don't know if it would be effective enough i'd have to try it but it is it's so easy to do as well um and I love the way that that came out. Just loved it. And again, you can fit quite a lot in here. There's a pocket at the back. There's a full size pocket. Second pocket there. Then there's a small pocket here and a small pocket here. 
and that's just fab. I've got so many ideas coming to me from all of these. Um, this again is another policy holder. It's just got a file folder in with, I think it's some um, noted on the back, so you can write on the back and some photo cards. But it's like journaling, you know. I, I often um, think when I make a journal, it would be nice just to have a few photographs. So I might start incorporating a few, a page or two where you can actually just put your photos. Um, this has been cut out of a saying. Um, again, another photograph there. This page i would completely forgot about and I love it. What I'm going <clears> to, <throat> it followed completely down. So I'm going to open it all up. So this is a, um, this is stuck down and that's just your ephemeris bit there. The butterfly is completely glossy accented. And then this was created by using scraps of paper. So this has been added on part here to create that and then what I've done here is I've used a scrap piece of paper so I've ripped this paper and to extend it long enough I've put in a piece of orange paper and then I've followed it down onto this one where it just was created with a different backing but I forgot I'd done that and that's just so cool I I think it looks great I really really like it this butterfly is the reason why it was cut out, because that's part of this paper. So it was just cut out. I just wanted it to go on. But yeah, so what I did was I've cut this out of the page as well, so that I could extend this around this corner. So that's another great idea. Um, again, just more sayings, a little pocket here, but you could fit quite a bit in there. It's quite a loose pocket. I've done, um, this is a journal card with a stopwatch inside. You've got more photographs and that's just a noted card there. So a bit of a journaling card. So they look cool. And then we close that and we come on to the next page. So this is the next one. This is a uh, same thing again, look. What I've done is I've used different colours of paper just to create the same thing. So this is two separate pieces and I've cut this out. So I've ripped that down there. I've ripped that down there and then I've inserted a piece of this to create that whole page, which I think is fantastic. I really like it. I've completely forgotten all about it. This is a pocket. So this is just a, a pocket here. So it's a nice long pocket and we've just created this as a flippy, flappy photo opportunity. So I didn't put a um I didn't put a policy closure on that one because I'd made this too big. And because I'd made that too big, I created that. I remember doing it now. And you'll see, because further down, I've done it with a policy closure. Then this one's really nice, but I've got, to, I've got to hold that up so that I can do it right out. So this lifts up and pulls out. And so does this one. That way to create a nice big photo opportunity there. Um got photos on the back you've got photos on the back of that one and then you open this one up and open this one up and you've got a large pocket there which you could put whatever you like in and it's the same sort of thing you know we do ephemera and we you know these are just probably journal cards um, I'm sure we could incorporate a lot of this sort of thing into a journal but I do love that page. Um, and then this one is a double pocket again, but these two are hinged on to an opening. And again, I wanted to use this piece and it wasn't big enough. So all I've done is created the top bit 
could have put a pocket in there. If we'd have had two of these, I would have probably put the same paper on again as a pocket, just so it doesn't spoil that view. We've got a couple of photo opportunities there. And then obviously inside the pockets, you've got more space for more things. So these are just a couple of the cards. Then this is created by using up all of the scrap pieces of paper from the kit. So all of these papers are in this kit. Um, this is in the kit. This word, um, sort of thin tape thing that it is. And then all I've literally done is made these the same size. So I've cut it, I think it's an inch. I'm almost sure it is actually. Um, but I will just check. Yeah, it's an inch. So I've cut inch pieces. And then what I've done is instead of putting them all across i've just made the shape up out of different pieces and butted them up together and i think that looks lovely you could do it that way you could do it straight down you could do it straight across but just make it in like a brickwork you could do quite a lot with that and that's just using scraps so I'll open this up. We've got a nice file type pocket here. And again, loads of space for this is this is a similar thing. We have in here we've got a gusset. So this part here is a thin small pocket. And this part here is a longer pocket, but it's been made to look like a file. But there is a gusset in there to um separate the two. Another, just another one here. This is again some more patchwork with two different pieces of paper. And then we open that up. You've got a secret pocket under here. There's a pocket in here. So there's more cards in there. So this is a pocket. Then you've got a pocket under here, which is a secret pocket. You've got your photo elements there. You've then got a arched pocket on there that then holds a file folder that is holding whatever you want it to hold and a very large photo opportunity card there. So yeah, there's great ideas. And that goes up and down. This is the other large pocket I was talking about, this one here. This is what the other pocket was meant to look like. Um, and it's very difficult to get that out. There we go. So I created the card. So it's a nice um, long either journaling space or that could even be a booklet um, you know a journal card there we go that sits in there i should have made a notch there really i think to make that a lot easier to come out but again these are words cut out of the kit again the ripped torn paper um thing on there he was actually cut out and placed on there. And then down to this one, we have a journal memories. So that's a flip up. This is just a place to, to write. This is your photograph that you're writing about. Again, here we've done the separate papers again. Um, we've got another flip up with a photo and or somewhere to write we've got a flip down where we've just got decoration and then this is a another flip down with more decoration and places to put journaling cards or whatever you like another large pocket there with lots of items in put a little tab on that one just so that you know that that pulls up and then you've got a lot more ephemera in there 
So again, this one's quite a quite a big, thick part of the. Um, I've then got this extra pocket here with more photos in. This was just using papers. There's nothing different about that one. And then this is the end of the book. Um, I replaced the word in there with a different one. We've put love on there so that it flows across the page. And then we've got another space to put some cards. That one I've actually stuck in. In fact, I think there's a magnet under there, but I don't know what it's for. Oh, it might be to close that. Yeah, it is. It's to close this. So that's magnet magnetised, closed. Why those aren't um, backed in card, because it wouldn't have uh, been enough. And that's the end of it. So I hope you enjoyed that one too. And I hope it's given you some more inspiration and, um, you know, just different ways to do things, because there's... As I say, there's absolutely loads in this one. I think I should have put a magnet on that as well. It is the one. There is actually. Oh, it closes when the photos aren't it. Anyway, I, there is lots and lots of inspiration there. Even if you just take away um, the ripped pages because they are just stunning. I just love them. Um, and I'll definitely be incorporating that into something because it's um I think it's quite diverse and I think you could use it in several different ways, even for making um ephemera. I think if you made journal cards up that way, it would be it would they would look lovely. Um I know these are quite bold and um bright, so they're not to everyone's cup of tea. Um, and I do get that. It's just something different. But, you you know, you don't have to use these bright colours to achieve it. You can use whatever you want and it will work. So, again, I hope you took something from it. Um, give me a nice big thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.